Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about quadratic equation in programming language. So first I am going to discuss about what quadratic equation is. So I know the standard form of quadratic equation is uh, uh, this one. fx ax, ax square plus bx plus c. So here we have to enter a, b, c value. So add here a. So I am going to enter a value 1 and b value minus 5 and or c value I am going to enter 4 so here a value is 1 1 into x square the value come x square and uh, here plus b value is now I enter minus 5 into x and c value I enter 4 so add here plus and minus the value come minus So x square the value of minus 5x so 4 equal to 0. So this is one quadratic equation. And here one important point is a not equal to 0. Suppose if I given a equal to 0. So add your 0 into x square the value come or 0 and your plus minus of 5x the value come suppose add your a value is 0 b value is minus of 5 c equal to 4 so quadratic equation looks like minus 5x plus 4 so this is not a quadratic equation so add your a not equal to 0 so suppose this is the example so add your we have to find out the value of x1 and x2 so this is the basic formula so add here minus 5 so b value is now 5 oh sorry minus 5 so add here minus 5 so first is b value is now minus 5 and here one more minus plus So add your a square root of b a square. So minus into minus 5 into minus 5 the value come 25. So one important point is plus into minus the value come minus minus into or plus the value come minus. And your minus into minus the value come plus and your plus into plus the value come plus so add here minus 5 into minus 5 b square means minus 5 into minus 5 the value come or 25 minus 4 a c so a value is 1 and or 4 c value is 4 so 4 into or 4 the value come 16 so that divided by or 2a. So a value is now 1. 2 into 1 the value come 2. So add here minus, in, minus into minus the value come plus. So add here the value is 5. And uh, here you can write plus and minus. So I am going to take this value also. So add here 25 minus 16 the value come 9. And the square root of 9. In 10th class, we study about a square root, the value come 3. So, this value is now 3, and here after 2. So, one time 5 plus 3, and next time 5 minus 3. So, 5 plus 3, the value come 8. So, 8 by 2, and next time 5 minus 3, the value come 2, 2 by 2. So, 8 by 2, the value come 4, and 2 by 2, the value come 1. So the output get 4 and 1. So this is about to quadratic equation. Next I am going to write a programming code of a quadratic equation. So let's see. So this is the code that I already written in code block. So next uh, I am going to execute the code. 
So right here, I'm going to enter a value of one, b value minus five, and c value four. So right here, output come root or real, and this is the output I'm getting. Roots roots of quadratic quadratic equation are four and one. So next time, I'm going to enter. A value or two, B value five, C value four, two five four. Two five four. So at the roots of quadratic equation are minus one two five and zero point six six and minus one two five minus zero point six six. So in this case, or this part execute. Or uh, suppose uh, we have to make t value double equal to zero. So t value zero. So in this case we have to enter a value one, b value or uh, four, and one more four. So roots are equal, and here I'm getting the output. Roots of quadratic quadratic equation is zero. So for a square, the value comes sixteen, and for a c, for a c, the value comes sixteen. Sixteen minus sixteen, the value comes zero. So in this case, roots are equal. The output I'm getting this. So this part execute. Roots are equal, and here the value of x on that display. So for this part. At here, let's execute one more time. Going to give one minus five and four. So this time roots are real, and quadratic equation of four and one. So this time this block of statement execute. So next time going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So let's see. Next, I'm going to discuss what the try and method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Here, after that, go inside. So, I have taken float variable a, b, c, d, x1, and x2. So, first is a. Here, after b. Next, o, c, d, x1, and x2. Now here after control comes to this point printer function. So what do we do? Cut that display into the output screen. Into A B C of quadratic equation. So at here is kind of function percent f because A B C are float time and is kind of function so that receive value of A and B and C. So I am going to enter A value one, B value minus five, C value four. Now here after control comes to this point. At here d equal to b into b minus 4 ac. So at here b value is minus 5 into minus 5. So at here one more thing minus into minus the value come plus and here minus into plus the value come minus. At here plus enter minus the value come minus and here plus enter plus the value come plus. So at here minus five into minus five the value come twenty five. So this value is twenty five minus four ac four a value one c value. Four. So four into one into four, the value comes sixteen. So twenty-five minus or sixteen, the value comes nine. So nine go to d. So d value is nine. Now here after control comes to this point. If d less than equal to zero, so d value is nine. Nine less than 
or uh, zero that's so not true so that not go to if part here control comes to this point here check else if d double equal to zero so d value is nine nine double equal to zero so that's not true so that comes to this point so if both two condition is not true so that go to else part so else part that execute so at here print a function so this or display into the output screen So add here roots are real number here x1 equal to minus b. So minus b means minus 5 minus 5 plus a square root of d. So d value is 9. So we already know a square root we studied in our 7th or 9th class about a square root so whatever the value of t so that to a square root so at here d value is 9 so this is the sign of a square root a square root 9 so if i am going to or about 9 so it 3 into 3 the value come 9 and here a square root of 3 a square to replace this symbol, we have to use 3 square, 3 square into, in place of this, 1 by 2. So, 2 to cancel and 3 by power of 1, the value come 3. So, a square root of 9, the value come 3. So, this value is 3 now. Divided by 2, a value 1. So minus minus the value come plus. So plus 5 plus 3. The value come 8. And 8 by 2 into 1. The value come 2. So this value is 4. So x1 value is 4. And here after x2 equal to minus b. So in place of plus. Here only change minus. So at your minus into minus the value come or plus. So at your 5 minus 3 divided by 2 into 1, 2. So 5 minus 3 the value come 2. 2 divided by 2 the value come 1. So at your x2 value 1. So now print a function. So this or display into the output screen called root of quadratic equation R. So this percent is for x1 and this percent f for x2. So the output come roots of roots of quadratic equation R x1 value 4, comma x2 value 1. And next that out from main function. So this time, this condition is true. Or suppose if I enter b value minus 4. So at here, b into b. So minus 4 into minus 4, the value comes 16. And for ac, 4, 1, 4 into 1 into 4, the value comes 16. So 16 equal to 16, the value comes 0. So d is 0 this time. So at here, check the condition. 0 less than equal to 0, condition is not true, so that go to answer point here. Yeah. D double equal to 0, condition is true, that coincide. So at here, both that display into the output screen. Both roots are equal, and here x1 equal to minus b. So I enter b value minus 4. So minus into minus 4. The value come 4 divided by 2 into a value 1. So 4 by 2, the value come 2. So add here, print a function. So this on display into the output screen, root of quadratic equation is x1 value. So x1 value is 2, so 2 display. Next time you should try to make d value negative. So at what case so d value comes negative? So add here, suppose if I enter d value 5. So 5 into 5, the value come 25. 
and make that one greater. So for AC, so I'm going to enter A value 2. So 4 into 2, 8. 8 into 4, or C value 4, the value come 32. 25 minus 32, so this case the D value come negative. So right here, the D value is now minus 7 come. So that's it, minus 7 greater than, minus 7 less than equal to 0. Condition is or two, so that coincide. So if condition is true, so that two parts not execute. And here, that do the calculation and that give the value of, at here, this value print and the after calculating this value print. So next time you should try. So this is the try and method of this program. So I hope guys you understand. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week.